Hello, today's all about watering and hopefully in the middle of the summer we're getting some lovely warm weather which is great to enjoy the garden. Some plants can get stressed so I'm going to give you some tips how to keep plants and vegetables healthy and we're also going to look at growing a few flowers in the garden. So this is a newly planted tree, it went in in the spring, so it's its first growing season. So it's really important that we help it to establish. And as you can see, the soil is now starting to dry out, so I need to give it a drink. So what I'm doing is just pulling away the soil from around the trunk of the tree. So I'm creating almost a saucer effect that I can apply the water to. And what I've done, I've got a can of water here. I put in a little bit of liquid seaweed fertilizer. That's a really good tonic for all plants, but it encourages healthy root growth, which is vital. So then I'm just gonna pour my water into there. And the idea is I'm gonna put quite a lot of water in to fill this saucer there. And that will then soak down nice and slowly to exactly where it's needed. So my plan is rather than watering this once a day and encouraging the roots to the surface. If I do this once a week in the dry weather, that water will soak down and the roots will follow it down because what I want is a lovely deep root system to help this tree establish. Runner beans are one of my favourite summer crops. I've always grown them, love to grow them. To do well though, they need plenty of moisture in the ground. If they get dry, the flowers fall off and the pods don't set. So it is important that, especially now they're starting to flower, that we keep them well watered. And a really good way to do this, and a, a simple tip, is to give them a, a good soak all around the roots. So for a wigwam like this, you're probably gonna need two or three cans of water give them a good soak because we want the water to get right down into the roots so once you've given them a soak like this and the soil is nice and moist we'll just put that last bit in there then we need to seal in that moisture now you could use compost but if you've been mowing your lawn and you've got some grass clippings then these are ideal these are just fresh green grass clippings and all i'm going to do is to put a thick layer of those on this moist soil and it's amazing how they trap in the moisture and they also keep the soil cool, which gives the perfect conditions to help our beans grow away. Another really good summer crop, of course, is courgettes. And these are still only young courgette plants getting established. And these will crop right the way through now till autumn. These also need lots of water, just like the runner beans. So when it's cool in the evening, give them a good drink around them. Try to keep the foliage dry, water the soil so it doesn't rot the fruits off. Um, and then the other thing is when they start to produce the courgettes, you need to pick little and often, two or three times a week, because if you leave them, what happens is they get big and turn into marrows. So uh, using a knife or whatever you want, you can, some people twist them off. I just like to trim them off and just cut them off when they're nice and small and enjoy them. And the more you cut them, of course, the more you'll get courgettes developing to keep them going for weeks and weeks and weeks. In my little veggie plot, I also like to grow a few cut flowers. Not only do they look nice, but we can take them into the house and enjoy them, but they attract so many pollinated insects into the garden, which is ideal for pollinating your courgettes and your beans. So these are sweet williams, very, very easy to grow, um, and they last for ages in water. So I've already cut some Alcamilla mollis, which also lasts a long time. So I'm just gonna cut some heads. So this is a lovely stem there. So I want quite long stems. So just basically a slanty cut on the stem there. And then what I'm going to do is when I arrange them or put them in water, I will take off the lower leaves. But for now, I'm just going to cut them. I can do that afterwards. So I'm just going to cut myself a nice bunch of these beautiful sweet williams that come in all different colours. Technically, they're a biennial, which means we sow the seed one year and they flower the next year. But I find that if you chop them down and feed them, they'll last for two or three years. But if you do want to sow them, now is the time to buy yourself a packet of seed and get them in the garden so they'll flower next year. But I just think you sweet Williams there, some Alcamilla, mix them together a little bit and you've got a lovely informal bunch of flowers for the house. 
Well, we'd like to thank Cobra Garden for supporting this video and we hope you've enjoyed all the tips in this pots and trowel gardening video. If you have, please like it, tell all your friends about it so they'll watch it and we'll be back with some more later.